Okay, everybody, welcome to another trip. Now it's time to go someplace that we wouldn't normally go. It's time for some family time. We do a lot of boondocking, we do a lot of exploring, we visit a lot of RV shows, but we haven't taken you on a lot. We've done it a couple of times, but a lot of family camping trips. Well, truth told, like many of you, that's one of the big reasons that we have RVs. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. It's a delightful September uh, fall weekend coming up. And we are going to Jellystone. Whoa, Yogi Bear, here we come. Boo Boo and all your gang, whatever their names are. Cindy uh, and all, the whole gang. Cindy Bear, yeah. So we're going to uh, one of the neater Jellystone, National, Jellystone parks around the country. And that is in Barton Lake, Indiana. And uh, this one has a well-deserved reputation, we're told, for being super. So, you want to come with us? Hop in the back. Here we go. Jellystone Park, Yogi Bear. In one quarter mile, turn right on lane 201 Barton Lake. All right, now, what a deal. Instead of paying $2 a donut, I got all these donuts. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten donuts. A dollar a donut. Now we have to give these away because we do not need ten donuts. There's no way we need ten donuts. Hey, huh? we can eat them all, can't we? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about Can't that. Can't we eat them all? Yeah. That's, whoa, don't yeah, touch yet. Don't touch yet. We're going to go back, have a little milk, and you can have it. They really do look tempting. Yeah, I'm going to have hey, a half this and a this. Half of that? Half and half so you can try to I'm going to have them. half of this and half of that. Uh, that Besides, you guys need a sugar tough. high to have some more energy for all the activities here. Well, John, I'll well, get more sugar from that. <laughs> you can't have too much sugar.
It's so cute. This is the one that's cute. Guys. Okay, how does a person find time to take a nap around here? You guys cold?
are you, Yogi? I got it, Nick. You don't quit, Yogi. Let's blast off. Uh -huh. uh, season. <laughs> it's time for all good bears to go Betty by. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to hit the hay till next May. Hey. I know some of you are, are purists, but um, we'd like to bring an electric fry pan for bacon when we cook bacon. You got to have bacon when you're camping. Um, and we cook it outside on the picnic table. We just run an extension cord off the RV, but that keeps the bacon smells uh, out of the RV and all the cooking odors. And uh, it uh, kind of gives a nice smell to the whole campground. So we uh, always use a fry pan for bacon. Mm. But what do you do with all the grease in the pan afterwards? Well, don't dump that in the fire pit. What we do is we let it uh, kind of just sit there for a little bit and get hard. And then you can just kind of scrape it up and put it in a in a receptacle or something and then throw it out uh, without having that grease in the fire pit. Never put grease in a fire pit. I have to give a shout out to this uh, Camp Jellystone. I don't know if they're all like this, all the Camp Jellystones across the county, but I know this one at Barton Lake has the cleanest restrooms I have ever seen. Each of these are private restrooms. You have your own shower, uh, your own uh, toilet and a sink. And there's lots of room and it's, it's private. The whole room is totally private. It's inspected and uh, I, honest, in 12 years of the RV lifestyle, I've never seen restrooms this clean. Again, it might be just this, uh, this campground, I don't know, but they deserve a shout out. Clover, here, you want some? <laughs> so, can I hear oh, This is going to be boo boo, that's what I'm getting. How are you going to decorate this? Nice. Yeah. Oh, like pick some colorful colors. What is the green stripe on their body? They're what? You can stand it upside by the whole bunch of So we're gonna we're gonna do the bear mail delivery and then picture time at 9.30 and then at 10.30 this and that's it. So show me a little bit like that and then turn it. Alright, turn it there, that cat, and then turn it all the way around, show it to me. Now, now turn it around. So, what's going on after picture time? Yeah, 
intergenerational camping. What does that mean to you with Jellystone? So we grew up coming to Jellystones during my childhood and oh, let's see, cut. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> coming to Jellystone was everything during my childhood. We grew up doing this and the bears coming around to our campsites and it just made my childhood so happy and I'm so happy to pass it on to our children and being here with our grandparents, their grandparents is, is awesome. Amy and I have done a bunch of camping over the years, but she's always talked about her memories at Jellystone when she was a girl. She loved seeing Yogi when she was like a little kid, and we just knew we had to bring our kids here. And so far this has just been an awesome trip. The kids have had a blast, there's so much for them to do. The weather's been perfect, and we've just been having a great time. Parents never wish to have their children watching TV, but at some point they have to stop and rest. So we are having them watch a show. Yeah, there's just too much to do. There's too much to do. It's too busy. Hey, you two. Yeah. Are you tired? A little bit. Huh? Yeah. A little tired? Why are you so tired? Because I'm not doing anything, so... Because there's too much to do here? It is a bonding experience to come together, the multi-generations, and to cook together, to eat together, to laugh together, to watch movies together, to go run and catch up with the bears, wherever the bears are. Whatever you do together, you're building memories for a lifetime. And you know, I don't mind doing meal prep. It's so much fun to eat what you prepare when you're in the campground. It's so much better than going out to eat, everybody contributing something to the meal. It just tastes better, sitting outside, all together. It's, it's just a great experience. It's uh, what we all need to do more of. And what else can I say other than having the dogs with us is a special treat because dogs need a vacation as well. Bo has kind of grown up in the RV lifestyle, but he really loves camping. And he loves a place like, uh, like Jellystone here because there's so much for him to see. But his favorite position is right underneath the RV where he acts like a little troll. I saw them as they came in yesterday. This is good food. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. <laughs> we have letters. What? What? We have letters. You have letters? With your name on. 
Jovi and Jeff. Where did you find those? Just under my pumpkin, like this. On your picnic table? On um, my pumpkin, like Open this. them up. Who are they from? Okay. Let me see yours. I don't know. Says, hey, Stone Park. says it's from... Bobo! Jax, let me see yours. It says... It says it's from Yogi Bear. Open them up. What do they say? Looks like the bear visited. What did he say? It Dear was. Jovi, it was fun having you visit with Yogi Bear and I. We hope you had fun. Catch you later, Boo Boo. This is fun. What does yours say, Jax? Thanks for staying at Jellystone Park, my favorite place. Camp's a lot more fun when people are here. Jax, that is awesome. What do you guys think of that? Huh? It's cool. I love it. I love That's it. cool. Yogi was snooping around our marshmallows. He was snooping around your marshmallows yes. while you were sleeping, huh? Yeah. Hope you have enough marshmallows, huh? Yeah. You hope you have enough marshmallows to make some s'mores tonight? Or we could eat the donuts. <laughs> Food time is, of course, a lot of fun when you're camping, but Camping is also a great place to have some rather unique, special camping meals, like the one we're going to have right now. Hobo meals back hobo when there were such a hobo pies back when there was such a thing as hobos. Okay, let me see. Right. Right. Go. So this is a camping uh, tradition that we've been following for years. We call these hobo pies. And basically what you do is you butter some bread, put whatever fillings you want inside, and then let it slow cook in the coal, in the coals. Um, so we're making of... we're making pizza hobo pie. We have uh, shredded mozzarella, some pizza sauce, and diced ham. Yeah. And what you want to pay close attention to when you're buttering the bread is to get it all the way to the edges, or else it'll stick to the sides and burn. And these are just little things you can pick up in any camping store, right? Yeah, there's a the camping store. I think they even have them at Walmart. Little pizza sauce. Spaghetti like sauce will do in a pinch. Diced ham. Dad, you could put pepperoni in there. Nice pepperoni, thing. mushroom, peppers and onions. What do you like on your pizza? Yeah, you don't want to skimp on the cheese. Hook them up. Bring it down like so. Yeah. Lock it. All right. Now into the coals it goes. I prefer putting them on the outside, you know, right in the coals, not in the fire itself. And you gotta be careful. Sometimes it's, it's too hot, you know, you burn it immediately. So now we just wait. Breakfast hobo pies are my favorite. You uh, scramble a bunch of eggs and put them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the fridge. And then you just put eggs, American cheese, you can put ham or bacon in there and close them up and put them in the fire for a great breakfast. Dude, Hi. what are we eating? Hobo pie pizza. Oh yeah, that, that fire's a little hot. See how it's getting burnt before the cheese is melted? Oh so, yeah, I gotta melt the cheese. So we're gonna be a little more careful. Ooh. It's looking good, buddy. Ooh. Looking good. Grandpa burnt yours. Well, that bread's a little too big. Fit mm -hmm. in there. Jax, that looks really good. We just it make is. it, I guess. Look at that cheese. Oh, Not bad. Not bad. Very nice. So hot. So you don't have to cook them long, do you? you gotta brown them a little bit. Let the cheese melt. So are we still allowed to call these things hobo pies? I don't think it's PC. You can't call them homeless pies, right? Maybe. Do we still have hobos? I don't think so. Well, that's what they call these things, hobo pies, so get we over can it. Call, how about camping pies? Camping ah. pies. 
No, nah, we shouldn't have yeah. to change something oh, that people haven't gone for years. It was the times for camping. It's a camping pot. I think that. Well, we all have to learn. It doesn't come instinctively. I mean, there's not a timer for me to set. I suppose we could fine tune this like 20 Dad. seconds on each side, but measure the heat of the fire. Huh. I suppose. Oh. I have potatoes and onions. I don't have corn. Maybe I could get some corn. We could make, we got a couple burgers. We could make uh, what we used to make. What do we call that? Campfire. Campfire burger. No, that's a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> we call it dinner. Huh. <laughs> this Hello, oh, sorry. Hello bears, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, baby. <laughs> Bo, it's okay. It's our friend the bear. These are our buddies, Bo. These are our buddies. Jack, do you um, want this girl? She could take a picture. Yeah, with that one. Grandma. All right, one, two, three, Yogi. Yogi. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's great. Yogi, you're not going to take my picnic baskets, are you now? Oh dear. And where's Boo Boo? He's probably stealing them right now. Oh dear, what are we going to do? <laughs> that's Thank mm -hmm. you.